So in uh, Italy, indeed, uh, we have uh, amazing uh, uh, academic institutions, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, you know individual researchers and academics uh, that are recognized for their uh, excellence worldwide. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, research excellence uh, is not always uh, translated uh, into uh, innovation. And this is, I believe, one of the uh, challenges uh, that uh, Italy is uh, facing and is also trying uh, to, uh, to address. Uh, of course, in the context of Italy, there are many uh, institutions. Uh, we see uh, some universities, uh, some, uh, some initiatives, especially in the north of Italy, that are definitely uh, more uh, developed and more established uh, uh, compared to, to others. Uh, I believe you know, we have a great examples, of course, in, uh, uh, in, in Trentino Alto Adige, with what Trento is doing, what Bolzano is doing, uh, uh, Polytechnic of Milan uh, and uh, Polytechnic of Turin as well. They have uh, uh, quite developed uh, uh, environments. Uh, now, creating uh, an ecosystem for, uh, uh, the, uh, for innovation and entrepreneurship, for the translation of research, uh, is, not, uh, is not easy. And of course, uh, uh, there are many uh, challenges uh, to face. Uh, um, so first of all is the kind of, you know, the macro environment. This means uh, what uh, the uh, local territory can offer in terms of uh, uh, policies, in terms of incentives, in terms of infrastructures, in terms of talent, uh, in terms uh, of uh, uh, presence of uh, uh, research institutions and presence of, uh, for example, industries and investors. So of course, you know, you can't, uh, have uh, ecosystems for innovation entrepreneurship everywhere. So that's kind of a starting point to, to keep in mind. And this is the reason why, you know, uh, these uh, type of ecosystems, uh, the successful ones, uh, tend to be few and uh, very often uh, concentrated uh, in uh, hubs uh, where uh, there is uh, a favorable environment for, uh, for, for that kind of growth. Uh, in terms of, a kind of you know, what I see as uh, the uh, key uh, factors to, uh, to develop these uh, type of systems, um, if these uh, systems uh, uh, kind of leverage uh, the role of academies, uh, of course, uh, you need uh, uh, kind of, you know, talented uh, academics, uh, talented research centers, uh, uh, talented institutions uh, in the territory uh, with, uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, with an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, so I believe uh, uh, the uh, kind of you know the role of academics uh, uh, is uh, is uh, changing. It's not uh, anymore about uh, uh, kind of you know research uh, and uh, teaching. Uh, uh, is about uh, kind of you know attracting uh, uh, academics uh, with uh, an entrepreneurial mindset uh, with the goal of uh, working uh, on. Uh, innovative solutions, but also um, with the ambition uh, to uh, create an impact with these uh, solutions that could uh, potentially lead uh, to the, uh, for example, commercialization of the research uh, or could lead uh, to uh, sp spin-off activities uh, uh, that basically connect the research to the uh, uh, industry community. So first, I believe, you know, uh, research institutions need to uh, attract and develop academics with new skills. Uh, so it's not anymore only about research and teaching, uh, it's about developing uh, uh, an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, so uh, potentially, you know, uh, academics that become not only uh, kind of, you know, leaders in research and in the discovery uh, of uh, uh, solutions or, new or, or uh, inventions, uh, but also actors of change, actors of impact. Uh, entrepreneurial, an entrepreneurial mindset is important at all levels. So this is basically change management and you know uh, cultural change uh, within universities, within corporations, within ecosystems. Uh, and you know, uh, you, you first of all, uh, I believe the concept of collocation is uh, is important uh, to have uh, in the in close proximity uh, the different actors of these type of ecosystems. So you you want to have uh, uh, researchers in close proximity with entrepreneurs in close. Uh, proximity with uh, uh, corporations in close proximity with uh, government bodies. Uh, so basically, this proximity uh, naturally fosters innovation. That's quite, uh, quite important. And there is a lot of research showing that uh, successful ecosystems uh, are characterized by this uh, co-location uh, aspect. Um, I also think uh, is uh, um, important uh, uh, today 
uh, to kind of you know invest uh, in uh, initiatives with a certain scale. Uh, so scale is another important factor. Uh, very often we see uh, kind of you know many, for example, uh, incubation or acceleration projects. Uh, uh, developed by universities uh, failing or not being successful uh, simply because they don't have the right scale. Um, so uh, innovation uh, is a kind of a go big or go home game. Uh, and uh, um, I believe, you know, uh, uh, universities and uh, governments need to understand that. Uh, and again, you know, initiatives need to be uh, very focused. Um, so uh, I believe there is a final point I want to make, which is about you know addressing some of the big gaps. For example, in Italy, the lack of uh, investors or venture capitalists. Uh, I believe you know the opportunity there is uh, to try to uh, reach out and connect with these communities globally. Um, so today, you know, you can establish a partnerships with you know investors in other countries, like you know in the UK, London, or in Israel, or in the Silicon Valley, and you can connect with these groups digitally uh, by organizing events or by organizing uh, uh, projects with them. Uh, uh, at Imperial College, we do that. Uh, uh, so you don't want only to create uh, opportunities for startups uh, locally. Uh, you don't want uh, to kind of you know uh, connect only with the local community of investors that maybe is not uh, uh, big enough or not developed enough in a certain country. Uh, you wanted to connect with the community worldwide. Uh, um, so I believe there is a, there is a global uh, uh, digital dimension of, a, uh, of an, entrepreneurship, an entrepreneurial ecosystem which is very important today.